Yes, bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord, salimie kwa mkono tafadhali bwana asifiwe. Kwa wale ambao ni wageni naitwa mchungaji kitu kita Kimani Jeroge nimeokoka hizi bwana. Amen. Nawashukuru wote ambao wamekuwa wakija maombezi ya wiki hiyo jana. Baya tulimalizia siku ya jana na tu watu wa missionaries wakaenda nje. Si Mungu awabariki sana. Hata wale hawakuweza najua kwamba next month wataweza. Asante kwa wale ambao ni wageni tunawakaribisha kujisikia mko nyumba ya baba yenu. Amen. Bwana asifiwe sana. Nilipo for the last few weeks nimekuwa nikifunza juu ya the purpose of the word. Leo nitaendelea tu bado lakini our theme today is how can you retain the word? How can you retain the word? Tumeona purpose ya kusoma neno la Bwana na kulielewa neno la Bwana na kulitia maanani. Na sasa tunataka kujiuliza how can you retain that word? Naezaje kuretain hiyo neno la Bwana katika maisha yako? Katika maisha hii ya safari hii yako na mbinguni. Bwana asifiwe. Nina mambo kama matatu au mamaine ambaye nataka kusema how you can retain the word vile unavyoweza retain the word unajua kama bila kuwa na neno ndani yako we, mara mingi you are open to attacks amen praise the name of the lord so is only the word that can help you neno tu ndio itakusaidia hata wakati Yesu alipokuwa katika jangwani Biblia inasema ya kwamba alimshinda shetani kwa neno. Amen. So how can you retain that word? Ili usisahau hili neno. Tunaposoma neno kwa nini uliweke uh, uh, katika mawazo yako? Number one, how to retain the word? You must write it down. You write it down. Uyaandike uyaandike pahali Bwana asifiwe. Tusome katika kitabu cha Exodus chapter 17 verses 14. Biblia inasema Then the Lord said to Moses, write this on a scroll as something to be remembered and make sure that Joshua hears it. Uandike katika kitabu na make sure unapoandika kuna mtu utamwambia ya kwamba mlisoma neno fulani amen because i'll completely blot out the enemy the name of the amalek from under the heaven hebu zirudia kwa kiswahili andika kisha mwenyezi Mungu akamwambia Moses liandike jambo hili katika kitabu Liwe ukumbusho tena kaliri masikioni mwa Joshua kwamba nitawafuta kabisa wameleki duniani. Kumbuka ni wakati ambapo Musa na Joshua na mtu mwingine aliitwa Hul walipiga wameleki. Na Biblia inasema kwamba Musa alipokuwa anachukua mkono wake juu wameleki wanashindwa. Amen alipochoka na kuweka chini wameleki wanawashinda so hul na aron wakaona akadia rais ya kwamba mikono ya, ya Musa kuinuliwa juu inafanya jambo litendeke so wakaenda wakamshika mikono wakamshika mkono e, moja mkono wa kushoto mwingine wa kulia wakamuinua juu naye wameleki wakapigwa sasa baadaye akaambia Mose e, 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 Mungu akaambia Mose andika hili neno ambaye tumeumepana ume, umeona hapa ya kwamba hebu twende verse 15 ya kwamba e, Mungu aliwashindania wana wa Israeli na usikinda hiyo maneno isikikane na huyu na huyu e, Joshua kwa sababu alijua Joshua ndiye atakaye mrithi Moses built an altar and called the, it the Lord is my banner There, there are some other version that say kwamba the lord is my the lord is the lord is my the lord the god 
Jehovah Nisi, I mean. Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah Nisi, I think it's King James Version. Yeah. Yahweh Nisi, which means the Lord is my banner. And you know, the Lord is my banner means the Lord is my victory. Sasa wale watu ambao wajui jina la kanisa hili toka wapi litoka hapa. The Lord is my victory. So andike katika hiyo kitabu so that I akikumbuka unapoandika jambo katika pahali most of the time sio sio rahisi kusahau. When you make notes on what you read and hear, you retain more be, be more impacted and get much more out of it unapoandika pahali kama vile wanaona wengine wanafanya amen unapo nakiri neno la bwana na kulisite amen Utawe, hautaweza kulisahau bwana asifiwe so number one, un, how to retain the word of god is you write it down hallelujah na unapoandika baadaye unalisoma number two, you have to pray it through Lazima we, we, you pray to through. Number two, you have to pray it through. Unless you pray over the word, you are hearing. You will keep coming home from church moved but unchanged. Lazima ni poza wale ambao wanatuongoza wanatuongoza hapa wanatuongoza na neno amen wanatuambia sasa tuombe tushukuru bwana wanasema tusome zaburi mia moja. tusome eh, zaburi frani. kwa sababu na baadaye anasema tushukuru bwana kwa sababu ya hii wanasema tutubu wanatupea wana, wana verse ya kutubu amen so when you pray through the word you will not forget it bwana asifiwe sana hallelujah so Many of the great saints of old led through the Bible on their knees. Wengi ambao waliokuwa wa zamani, kina Daudi, kina David I mean, walisoma wali neno ama wali, wakiwa katika magotini. Hata kina Daniel, you should try that too. Nawe jaribu hayo jaribu hata hiyo uone kama itawezekana. Bwana asifiwe sana. In Isaiah chapter 54 verses 10 Isaiah chapter 54 verses 10 in asema though the mountain be shaken and the hills be removed Isaiah 54 verses 10 for the mountains may be uh, though the mountains may be shaken and the hills may be removed yet my unfailing love for you will not be shaken No more my covenant of peace be removed says the lord who has compassion on you hata ingaa milima inaweza tingizika amen hata ingaa milima inaweza tingizika na the hills be removed ama milima yondoleo yet and faith and my unfailing love for you will not be shaken or my covenant of peace be removed kwa hivyo unaposoma and omba na neno la bwana Ujue ya kwamba kama vile neno la Mungu ishivyo how Mungu uh, the Bible says in Psalms 138 ya kwamba God respects then his name as he, uh, his word as he respects his name ama Mungu ana tii neno lake kama vile ana tii majina zake Bwana asifiwe so you pray through the word neno imesema hata kama milima inaweza tingizika ama kuondoleo lakini upendo wa Mungu haiwezi haiwezi katingizishwa ama his covenant of peace cannot be removed bwana asifiwe sana also in the book of uh, the second chronicles chapter number 20 verse 9 second chronicles chapter number 20 verse 9 bahari ambapo this man mfalme wa israel wa juda aliyekuwa anaitwa joshopat ali alisimama akaomba akakumbusha Mungu neno lake he said this if calamity comes upon us whether the sword of judgment or plague or famine will stand in your presence before this temple that bears your name 
and we will cry out to you in our distress and we will hear us and save us. Alikuwa na, anakumbusha Mungu maandiko yake ambaye so, uh, Solomon alikuwa ameomba katika 2nd Chronicles chapter number 6 from verses 20. Bahari ambapo Solomon alijenga hekaro ya Bwana. Alipoimaliza akasimama kwa hekaro. Akasema, "May your eyes be open to us this temple and uh, day and night. This place of which you said you would put your name there." Bahari ambapo ni Solomon alipokuwa naomba, kumbuka ya kwamba Biblia husema kwamba alipomaliza kujenga hekaro neno inasema kwamba Mungu alirudi akaenda akatoa dhabihu katika ile hekaro Mungu akamtia usiku akamuuliza amekubali dhabihu yake Bwana asifiwe akamuuliza unahitaji nini naye akasema kwa sababu umenipa mzigo wa kuongoza hawa watu hawa wana wa Israeli the great children of Israel I need to uh, you give me wisdom. Amen. Mungu akamuongeza akamwambia sio kwa sababu umeomba umeomba tu wisdom nitakuongeza mali. Na baadaye akasimama katika hekaro. Akasema may your eyes macho yako yafunguke towards this temple day and night. This place of we of which you said you would put your name there. May you may you may you hear the prayer of your servant Praise to us this praise. Verses 21. Hear the supplications of your servants and your people Israel. When they pray to us this praise, watakapo omba kukupitia hii madabao. Hear from heaven, you are doing praise. And when you hear, you forgive. Sasa Josopati katika pahali tumesoma 2 Chronicles 20 verses 9. Alikuwa na kumbusha mungu hili neno. Ya kwamba, watakapo tenda dhambi watakapo tu, eh, watakapo pata eh, eh, ukame ama watakapo kutwa na, na, na upanga watakapo simama katika hekaro hii ambayo imeitanishwa na Mungu the name uh, uh, we will stand in your presence before this temple that bears your name and we will cry out to you in our distress and you will hear us and save us burn us fear hiyo akamkumbusha so when you pray with the through the word, unapoomba na kutaja neno la Bwana, God comes near to you. Na Mungu anajibu. Amen. Bwana asifiwe sana. And number 3, you discuss it with others. Unapo how do you retain the word of God? You discuss it with others. You discuss it with others. God's word is like a seed. that would prize and grows when it is watered by. Neno la Mungu ni kama begu ambaye inapo inapo pandwa inazaa na ina multiply. Na inapo inapo kuwa watered by a conversation with others who share your faith. Okay, unaposoma unapotaka kuliteni na neno la Mungu you have to discuss it. To discuss it with others. Hiyo ni kufanya Bible study. Amen. Sio ni kufanya Bible study. Hata ukiwa nyumbani, mnaposoma Biblia neno na, na watoto wako na familia, you discuss it with your children. You discuss it with your family. Amen. And when you discuss it, the Bible says, those who fear the Lord talked with each other and the Lord listened to them and heard. In Malachi chapter 3 verse 16, wale walio muogopa bwana waliongea kwa waliongereshana those then those who feared the lord talked with each other and the lord listened and heard unapo discuss it with others amen we are saying talking about how to retain the word amen and the, the, uh, number 3 is discuss it with others Na Biblia inasema those who fear the Lord talked with each other. Na Mungu alisikiza na akasikia. Sijui kwa Kiswahili inasema namna gani kusikia na kuna kusikiza. Ndio yaka kwa Kiswahili. Ndipo watu wanaomcha Mwenyezi Mungu walipomzungumza wao kwa wao. Naye Mwenyezi Mungu akasikia mazungumzo yao. Bere yake kikawekwa kitabu ambapo iliandikwa 
kumbukumbu ya wale wanaomcha na kumheshimu so unapo discuss with others mungu usikiza amen zamani kulikuwa na some eh, pictures tulikuwa tunaweka kwa nyumba yasema uh, uh, god is a, is a, is a, is a resident listener amen so unapo kuwa mna, mna discuss with others our god is a silent listener and not only a listener anaandika kitabu chake cha kubukumu amen na nipoza hata wakati mmoja biblia husema katika kitabu cha esther ya kwamba mfalme alikumbuka eh, kitabu ambaye alikumbuka the scroll ambaye ilikuwa ina, inaandiko mambo ambayo ametenda amen na ikasemekana kwamba wakati eh, eh, modekai Haman anataka kumamaliza Mordecai ama kufanya jama jam, 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 katika eh, mambo ya eh, Waisraeli. Biblia inasema mfalme hakulala usingizi kwa sababu kuna kitabu ilikuwa imeandikwa. So unapo discuss with others kitabu ya, ya a scroll from heaven is written there. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. And you know what happened after Mode, after the, the mfalme aliposikia kitabu Aliona ilikuwa imeandikwa. Ilikuwa imeandikwa ambaye uh, kwamba uh, Mordecai alikuwa amesaidia mfalme katika jama fulani. Bwana asifiwe. Na ujue saa hizo ndio naye Haman alikuwa anataka kufanya jama ili Mordecai amalize. Bwana asifiwe sana. Yeah, it is in Esther chapter number 6 and verses 2. It was recorded that there, that Mordecai had exposed Bigdana, Bigdana and Teresh two of the king's officers who guarded the doorway who had conspired to assassinate king Xerxes and you know the story baada ya mfalme kuuliza kitabu hiyo alipoletewa aliuliza nani yuko hakaribu na hapo karibu pale adui yake alikuwa adui ya, ya, ya Mordecai alikuwa amesimama hapo hivi amegojea apewa nafasi aende akafanye jama ili Mordecai amalize amen so when you discuss the word of god something happens in the spiritual realm bwana asifiwe sana si mungu atusaidie to discuss our, 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 the word with our family members hallelujah let us be, be, be also good bible studies do good bible study and we discuss it with other members so number three, discuss it with others number four, practice practice it daily practice it daily uko practice each daily hiyo ni kufa namna gani kufanya kufanya kila amen you practice it daily john chapter 1 verses 14 john chapter 1 verses 14 the word became fresh and made his dwelling among us We have seen his glory and the glory of the one and only son who came from the father full of grace and truth. So when you read the word it be, it become it became it becomes fresh. Amen. Other version says and so the word became fresh and took place a place among us for a time and we saw his glory. Such glory is as is given to an only son by his father so it to be true and full of grace so choose to believe with what god says about you bwana asifiwe sana every time every outcome begins with a choice and an act of will choose to believe what god says about you and every time every outcome begins with a with a choice an act of will romans chapter number 3 verses 4 romans chapter number 3 and verses number 4 not nipe na kwa na hivi romans chapter 3 verse not at all let god be true and every human being a liar bwana asifiwe tumesoma pale john chapter 1 verses 14 ya kwamba the word became fresh so 
let God be true and every human be a liar. As it is written, so that you may be proved right when you speak and prevail when you judge. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So God says in first, Second Timothy 1 7. 2 Timothy 1 7. God has not given us a spirit of fear. Mungu atya to pay roho ya uoga, but of power and of love. This is 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 7. God gave us, uh, uh, for the spirit God gave us does not make us a timid, but give, uh, gives us power, love, and self-discipline. Kwa hivyo unapo kuwa unasoma neno. Neno nae neno because the word, the word, is the, the word is become, became fresh. And how did it become fresh? Sika ni mwana wa mungu. Amen. Now, the Lord, there are three trinities. That is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And they work together. So God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. So memorize it and meditate on, on it until it takes root on, in you. You must memorize. Memorize ni nifaya na mnagani. Ni kukariri kama vile watoto wanafanya. Memorize it and meditate on it until it takes root in you. Start saying what God says about you in his word. Uwanze kusema vile mungu na vio kusema vile neno inasema juu ya maisha yako. Amen. What matters, especially when they, when they are God's words. Ninini na ina 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 stahiri katika when it when it is God's God's word. You remember, ataku in the book of Genesis chapter one and verses fourteen and fifteen. Mungu aliumba urimwengu and everything that is in it by His word. Amen. So when you exercise the word, hallelujah, unati neno rabwana, unafanya kama vile baba yako anafanya. Si alisema, let there be right. Si ni neno alisema, let there be right. And, and, and the sky separate the day from the night. And let them serve as signs to mark sacred times and days and years. Ea ni kusema alisema, it's just the word. And when, that's why I'm saying, what matters, especially when they are God's word. Unapo nena neno, ambaya ni neno ramungu. Praise the name of the Lord. So God said, let there be, and it was so. His word contains the power of who he is. Neno lake ina contain uguvu, ya baya hoye ni nani. Now that's the reason when you mention, you retain the word of God, and mention the word of God, it, it, uh, it contains the power of whom God is. When you speak God's word, you are connecting with his mighty creative logos, or creative logos, which is his word. Buenas fair son. Hallelujah. Now, why is it necessary to speak God's word as we, as, as, as we continue? Why is it necessary to speak God's word? I have three, three quotes here. Number one, why is it necessary to speak God's word? Si tumesema, unapoomba, you recite, you memorize the, the word of God, una, unaomba na neno rabwana, you study, the, you, 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 you study the, the word of God with, with others, amen. So why is it necessary to speak God's word? Number one, because hearing yourself speaking God's word is a powerful reinforcer. Hearing yourself speaking God's word. Kunapo jisikia we mwenye kiongea neno rabana. Inakuretea nguvu, inakuretea nguvu tere. It, it, uh, because hearing yourself speaking God's word is, power, is a powerful reinforcer. Amen. One has fear. Hallelujah. Did you get that one? Hearing yourself speaking God's word is a powerful enforcer. Kwa hivyo mungu wanaposikia 
unapojisikia ukinena ukiongea neno la Bwana ni kama kujitia kujitia kujiweka nguvu amen hallelujah number two, because you remember what you recite kwa sababu unakumbuka yale ulirecite you rememorize because you remember what you recite why is it necessary to speak god's word kwa sababu unakumbuka vile ulivyo ulivyo nakiri neno la bwana number three, i'm lashing so that we pray because the enemy hears you kwa sababu unapo nena decide unapo uh, why is it necessary to speak the god's word because the enemy hears you when jesus spoke to the god's word to satan in the wilderness temptation friend unajua wakati unapo neno neno la bwana unapo recite neno la bwana unapo lisema neno la bwana amen adui yako anaisikia haleluya na tunapewa mfano ya kwamba wakati Yesu alipokuwa jangwani in Matthew chapter 4 verse 10 to 11 Biblia inasema kwamba alipokuwa jangwani shetani alimjaribu mara mingi lakini naye Yesu akanena neno la Bwana shetani akasikia Jesus said to him away from me satan for it is written worship the lord your god and serve him only verse 11 then the devil left him the angels came and attended him so wakati unaponena neno la Bwana adui yako anasikia na anaondoka amen Nae Mungu maraika wa Mungu anasikia they come and strengthen you. Hallelujah. So may you be filled with the word of God so that in times of difficulties wakati wa ugumu unaponena neno la Mungu unapolitana na jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Si Philippians inasema kwamba hilo neno tuliachio tu jina la Yesu. Ya kwamba kila urimi takiri ya kwamba ni Bwana na kila goti itafanya nini? itashujudu ye na kusema kwamba yeye ni mfalme bwana asifiwe sana so when you you recite the the word of god when you speak the word of god then the enemy hears it and 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 na 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 inaposikia hiyo hiyo neno inapotea na maraika wanakuletea msaada praise the name of the lord si mungu atujaze la hili neno mhm na tukasoma katika second Timothy 1:7 ambaye ilikuwa inasema for God did not give us a spirit of fear Hatu, hatuwezi ogopa Mungu atukutupe roho ya uoga but of power amen but of love and self control so God has given you a sound mind that means you are a gold thinker amen kama amekupea sound mind wewe ni mtoto wa you are a, 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 you are a, you are a good, a, 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 a good thinker that means you are a good thinker because the lord has given you no, the spirit of no, uh, the spirit of, of uh, courage the, he has not given you the spirit of fear nor the spirit of intimidation but the spirit of power love and self control so god has given you the ability to love amen amekupea the ability to to be a good thinker the ability to love Amen. And now demonstrate your love for God. Hallelujah. Si amekupa roho ya 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 upendo na roho ya nguvu na roho ya courage and self control. Now demonstrate your love for God. You how would you demonstrate it? Amen. Uta demonstrate namna gani? By forgiving those who hurt you. Amen. Uta demonstrate namna gani that second team of the chapter 1 verse 7. Uta demonstrate namna gani by forgiving those who hurt you. Kuwasamehe wale ambao wana ambao unao kudhuru. Serve others instead of being self self absorbed. Tukubali kutumikia wengine badala ya kukaa kando. Amen. Nothing builds your faith like acting on God's word. Hakuna kitu kingine 
itakaye jenga imani yako only by acting God's word tunasema neno la Mungu linasema hivi na hivi and you demonstrate, you demonstrate what the word of God say so the best way to retain God's word is to practice it its principles or fresh it out praise the name of the Lord hallelujah in Deuteronomy chapter number that one and verses number 8 The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. Amen. He will never leave you nor forsake you. So do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Verse 9. So Moses wrote it down the uh, Moses wrote down this law and gave it to the Levitical priest who carried the ark of the covenant of the law and to all the elders of his life e aliandika namna aliandika verse 8 akaandika kwamba Hebrews verse 8 Mungu akamwambia the Lord himself goes before you and he will be with you Mungu ataenda na wewe na atakuwa na wewe amen So as you remember you recite the word of God as you pray the word of God unapoomba kupitia neno la Bwana jua ya kwamba si hii iliambiwa aliandika chini akapatia makuhani amen alipowapatia makuhani ni kwamba wao wanakumbusha watu ya kwamba Mungu anaenenda mbele zako hebu ya kwa Kiswahili basi said Hallelujah do you know how now to retain the word Number one, by writing it down. Number two, praying it. Number three, discuss with. Number four, amen. Mwenyezi Mungu ndiye anayeongoza, anawaongoza. Yeye atakuwa pamoja nanyi. Yeye hataacha kuwasaidia. Na hata hata watupa. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hii ni kumaanisha kwamba huyu mwenyezi Mungu is your help. Even in times of difficulty like this one. In times of rock like this one. Wakati ambapo hata mambo kama saa wakati huu pesa hazipatikani. Bwana asifiwe. Mambo yamekuwa mengi. But the Bible says the Lord shall be your helper. Mungu atakusaidia. Yeye atakuwa pamoja nawe. Yeye yeah, hata kuacha kuwasaidia na hata watupa. Hivyo msiogope pala msifadhaike. This is a good word uh, kama wakati kama huu. Ambapo mambo ni magumu. Wengine wanaambiwa kwamba lazima watoto warudi shule na school fees. Wengine wanaambiwa kwamba lazima kuna jambo inahitajika mwisho wa mwezi. But be 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 faithful to God. Na ujue kwamba Omba na hili neno. Amen. So I have given you the word to pray. Can we now rise up? Kwa maana Mwenyezi Mungu ndiye anayeongoza. Mungu ndiye atakuongoza. Na yeye atakuwa pamoja nawe. Na amesema Moses akaandika chini, akapatia makuhani ili wao wanakumbusha wana wa Israeli ya kwamba the Lord God shall be walking with you. Amen. He shall be your help in times of need. So wakati kama huu mambo yamekuwa mengi. Hallelujah. I know everyone, let's rise up now, rise up now. I know everyone anahitaji anahitaji friend. Lakini tumesema kwamba pray with the word of God. When we pray with the word of God, I believe ya kwamba hata kama mnaweza sahau na zingine zote usisahau na hii Deuteronomy chapter 31 Amen. Don't forget this word. Kwa sababu ili neno Moses aliambiwa andika chini kwa kitabu. Patia makuhani wao wakiwasomea wana wa Israeli kila mwaka. Amen. Ya kwamba Mungu yuko pamoja na ndio msaidizi wako. The Lord is your helper even in times of need. Wakati wewe mgonjwa, wakati unapitia katika mambo mazito, he is your helper. Anasema msiogope wala msifadhaike kwa sababu atawasaidia 
hata watuta. So inuwe mikono yako juu ambia bwana you just pray for two minutes with through this word. Waambie Mungu mambo unaopitia, unaopitia mambo mazito katika jina la Yesu kwa sababu the Lord put it in the NIV version. The Lord is your help is our helper. Katika jina la Yesu. Just raise your hands high before God and pray with this word that the Lord himself shall go with you. Tell the Lord that God you have spoken that you shall go with me and uh, uh, and uh, 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 you shall never leave me and you shall never forsake me so i should not be afraid i should not be discouraged because you shall not leave me katika jina la yesu ambia bwana wakati kama huu ambapo mambo ni mengi pengine unataka kurudisha mtoto shule pengine hata hauna pesa za school fees pengine hata chakula kuyakera kwa mesa ni shida pesa zimekuwa kama ni kama kiangazi mungu atusaidie kwa sababu amesema he shall help you atakusaidia lord we are praying with this word in the mighty name of jesus christ that the lord yourself shall go with us and shall go before us as the bible says in second chronicles 6 and verse 20 that uh, that uh, that uh, that, uh, that god we, whenever we pray we, we pray with in this temple you shall hear us oh god utatusikia that your eyes shall be open towards this temple day and night this place of which you say you would not put your name you would put your name there may you hear the prayers of these people may you hear the prayers of your servant praise to us this praise in the mighty name of jesus tunaomba bwana wa rehema katika jina la yesu tumesimama hekaro hii hii hekaro meshaa nena wakati mmoja ya kwamba tutakapoleta mashida zetu hapa tutakapokuita tukiwa hapa katika hekaro hii utatusikia tumeona ukisikia maombezi yetu tumeona ukiponya tumeona ukitajirisha tumeona mfalme wa ajabu kijaza ukitenda makubwa bwana wa rehema even when you, you, deli- you have delivered in this church of god katika jina la yesu tunatangaza kwamba kama vile neno nasema katika exodus 20 24 inasema ya kwamba we shall be when you build the an a knot of the earth and an on of an earth when you come to fight to, to look at it you shall bless the people who shall be there lord you are in, in this temple you are in this sanctuary you are in this altar lord of mercy hear us oh god and bless us our redeemer katika jina la Yesu ninatangaza kwamba mfalme wa ajabu neno lako limesema hautatuacha utaendelea kuwa nasi mfalme utaendelea kuwa nasi utatujaza na nguvu zako utatupa nguvu za kushinda oh lord because you have not given us the spirit of fear but the spirit of boldness the spirit of courage katika jina la Yesu and of true of true love katika jina la Yesu ninatangaza ya kwamba bwana wa rehema katika hukumu nyumba uh, hii bwana mtakatifu kutana na mambo ambayo bwana tunapambana tuna naye kutana na mambo mfalme wa ajabu ambayo tuna tume, tume, uh, uh, that it is in our mind that you as you search our mind and our, and our, and our, and our, and our mind oh, and our heart oh god lord jesus in the mighty name of jesus christ i praise you king of glory kwa sababu you shall meet with the desires of our heart katika jina la yesu tunakutukuza bwana tunasema ni asanti baba asanti kwa maana unatenda jambo kubwa katika jina la yesu tunakushukuru mungu tunasema hatuna mungu kama wewe jina lako litukuzwe jina lako linuliwe asanti mfalme baba wa rehema katika jina la yesu tunanyenyekea mbele za kiti chako cha enzi mchana wa leo tunapokushukuru bwana kwa ajili ya matendo zako ni wewe umetunenea mfalme wa falme ukatueleza jinsi ya kuretain the word lord of mercy is that to, we have to write it down we have to pray it through we have to discuss it with others oh god and to recite it our redeemer and memorize it father and also to say what the to say to take what the word means to us lord what the one says and to us king of glory ninaomba katika jina la yesu umemalizia na kutuambia utaenenda pamoja nasi hautatuacha hautatuacha 
utakuwa pamoja nasi wakati wa mirima wakati wa mabonde ulinena pamoja nasi mwaka mwaka mpya ya kwamba macho yako itaandamana pamoja nasi kuanzia mwanzo wa mwaka hadi mwisho wa mwaka tunachukua hili neno na tunaenda naye Bwana katika jina la Yesu neno lako lasema ya kwamba katika je wakati Solomon alipokuwa naomba akasema macho yako itakuwa pamoja nasi hata roho yako itakuwa katika hekaru na sikio lako itatutegea Bwana sasa mfalme wa falme toomba neema na kuwa kwa Bwana tusegee masikio lako mfalme na usikie Jehovah God the things that you are passing through the difficulties that you are passing through the tribulation law and persecution that you are passing through ili bwana alehema utuondoe tuondolee bwana kila mastaka katika jina la Yesu hata wale wameshikwa in captivity bwana alehema na dhambi na mateso na kila aina ya nasa tuwafungulisha bwana si neno lako lasema ya kwamba watu wengine wamewekwa katika gerezani wengine wametupwa katika mashimo lakini kumekosa mmoja wa kusema waachiliwe tumefimama hapa bwana na kusema waachiliwe waachiliwe restore them my father restore them king of glory restore them jehovah restore them lord sharama zeki ribazaya rekarama ganda ribaboria rikataya mazaya bwana alehema waachiliwe wazee wetu waachiliwe watoto wetu waachiliwe hata mama wetu waachiliwe katika jina la Yesu twapokonya mikononi mwa adui katika jina la Yesu asante mfalme wa falme tunanena neno lako bwana ambaye linasema katika Isaya 49 and verse 24 kama ni inawezekana hodari aliyeshika mateka kunyaganywa mateka wake neno lako lasema ya kwamba inawezekana inawezekana aliye hodari kunyaganywa mateka wake watoto wetu wameshikwa mateka na hodari wameshikwa mateka na watu ambao ni hodari o oh, Mungu alehema inawezekana na kama inawezekana watoe wana wetu walie katika mambo ya pombe katika mambo ya nasa wale ambao wako katika chini ya wameshikwa e, mateka ya magonjwa katika jina la Yesu we pray for them we pray for them any sickness that is tormenting our people in the name of Jesus we speak the word of God the word of God says by the stripes of Jesus we were healed and by the stripes of Jesus every sickness shall come down to our footstool na neno inasema ya kwamba yote mpara msarabani yale kwisha yamekwisha yoyote ambayo anapitia katika mambo mazito mambo ambayo ni magumu ninaomba katika jina la Yesu ya kwamba kuanzia leo tumejua ku recite your word we have known to pray to pray through your word katika jina la Yesu we have known Lord to discuss your word and now dear father because your word when we write it down it helps us my father it helps us oh lord because you also write it in your scroll and you remember us my father when it is when it is time for acting king of glory katika jina la Yesu now let the word act now for law katika jina la Yesu hili neno linaokoa hili neno linaponya hili neno linainua hili neno linakomboa sasa liokoe likomboe riponye likomboe sasa katika jina la Yesu tunakupenda tunakuabudu bwana tunasema ni asanti asanti mfalme wa falme tuatangaza wema na fadhili za bwana aliye mgonjwa apokee ma, mapokeo uponyaji aliye umia maumivu ya mwili katika jina la Yesu apokee uponyaji katika jina la Yesu aliye wacha nyumba yake ajui atakula nini atasaidika namna gani oh god of mercy the bible says in, in amos that you are the, the author of silver and gold father in jesus name may you provide provide now provide now provide provide rapa shakaraba zeria ripokotaya mazeria in the name of jesus christ katika jina la yesu asanti kwa sababu natenda hayo asanti kwa sababu mfalme wa ajabu you have the answer 
of every problem that you have been going through katika jina la Yesu kila kila jibu jawabu unayo katika kila maswali ambayo tuko nayo siku ya leo katika jina la Yesu asante mfalme wa ajabu tunakupenda tunakuabudu bwana katika jina la Yesu tukiwa katika hiyo hali ya kumalizia uko hapa pengine hujaokoka na ungependa kumtumikia bwana na kumpatia maisha yako kama kwa Yesu awe mkombozi mkombozi wa maisha yako are you there just raise your hand hai tuombe pamoja na wewe uko hapo jaokoka unasema kwamba ningependa kupatia na maisha yangu kwa Yesu ili Yesu akuokoe inua mkono wako juu katika jina la Yesu thank you lord thank you lord let us all, all of us rise up tusimame sisi zote tunakumalizia Thank you Lord. Thank you for the spirit of God. Thank you Lord. Everlasting Father. Let us raise our hands towards the altar. Mungu wetu na baba wetu. Twainua mikono zetu kwa ishara ya kusema kwamba hatuna jambo lingine tumebakisha ila kujipeana kwako. Twajipeana maisha yetu kwako katika jina la Yesu. Wewe unaojua kuchunguza meo zetu that by when you understand our hearts and our mind and our desire fulfill the desires of our heart katika jina la Yesu natangaza kwamba wiki hii tunapoanzisha wiki hii kuanzia kesho bwana mtakatifu utatuhifadhi utatulinda watoto wetu wanaporudi mashuleni wale ambao walikuwa mid term falme tunawaombea kibali chako katika chuoni chao my father and my god let them be readers let them never be a tale but be the reading katika jina la Yesu waongoze katika mashuleni zao kwa mambo mazuri katika jina la Yesu wape nauri ya kurudi katika shuleni wape hata pesa za kulipa school fees katika jina la Yesu tunatangaza kwamba katika shuleni wale ambao watakao safiri bwana alehema hatua hakuna ajali yoyote shetani hata watega Tumejua binu za shetani na sasa katika jina la Yesu tumejua ya kwamba tunapojua neno na tuliseme mbele ya adui yetu shetani atuondokea sasa katika jina la Yesu shetani hauna mamlaka juu ya yoyote hapa na juu ya familia hawa yote katika jina la Yesu tuatangaza uhuru na kukombolewa na Bwana katika jina la Yesu Kristo Nazareti walio wagonjwa wamepokea uponyaji walio wacha watu wao wakiwa wagonjwa wapokea uponyaji hata yule mzee ambaye alipata na na mission asakiwa mgonjwa we are declaring today and the bible says whatever you agree on earth by one faith is agreed in heaven whatever we bind in earth in by by by, by one faith is bound in heaven and our dear law we bind that sickness in be it be, be ancestral sickness in be it so mgonjwa wa kujiletea ama ya kuletea kutupiwa Tunatangaza ya kwamba sasa amepokea uponyaji katika jina la Yesu kwa sababu neno nasema ya kwamba ulipotuma your disciples to door to door you gave them the authority to pray for the sick and heal the sick deliver the, the possessed one and Lord they did it and when they came back they reported a good news ya kwamba hata demons obeyed them father in Jesus name let all demons let all 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 all, all uh, satanic spirit obey us in Jesus name katika jina la Yesu tunatangaza kwamba siku wiki hii tumekombolewa wiki hii we are saved in the hands of our lord katika jina la Yesu asante kwa sababu natenda hayo na ni katika jina la baba na mwana roho mtakatifu tumeomba na tumeamini amen 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 and now surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life and i shall forever and ever amen and now may the grace and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with us and forever more amen mungu abariki sana as you wait for the